Good day everybody and uh, welcome back to the X Explorer for one more video. In the today's video, I'm going to present you this um, frequency counter and crystal tester at the same time. It's a kit that uh, I purchased um, with the idea that I'm going to use uh, as a frequency meter um, to test different uh, um, different circuits from uh, from receivers so uh, it's easy for me to to calculate coils and uh, stuff like that just because um, I'm trying to right now I'm trying to finish uh, designing the a very very tiny version as small as possible of the Sputnik region receiver the final version um, the version one uh, the one without the audio preamplifier just headphones uh, mostly to be used as a portable you know a tiny one that you can put in your pocket and uh, just go have some fun um, <laughs> throw a wire in a tree and uh, listen to some um, CW signals or SSB signals sometime in the weekend just for fun so anyway that's the idea with the receiver um, I purchased uh, this kit and I started building it um, Basically, it was uh, a little bit confusing at first when I opened the bag just because I couldn't find any instructions. But then as soon as I looked on, um, on the PCB board, I realized that the value of the parts is written on the PCB. So it was very, very easy. Probably from, uh, uh, from a score from 1 to 5, uh, 5 being the most difficult, I would put it somewhere on number 2. Because if you pay attention to the value of the parts, it's basically very, very easy uh, to put it together. And uh, you have no issues on that. Um, now I started to test it. with um, After I finished uh, building it, I started testing it with different... Um, uh, with different uh, crystals that I have uh, laying around here. And I noticed that... Uh, the crystals on the on the bottom let's say 3.5 megahertz 4, 4 megahertz uh, those did not work properly uh, the the meter just couldn't read them properly so when you buy this kit you will find that at the end that you have a 22 picofarads capacitor extra and you're wondering why they put it there well, the reason for that um, is that I found out if you check um, this capacitor, the, the top one, 22 picofarads, in parallel with this one, you're going to solder on the back of the board the other 22 picofarads capacitor. And uh, this way you won't have any issues to measure um, crystals lower than uh, 5 megahertz. I don't know how it's going to work now with uh, crystals uh, higher in, in um, frequency just because I don't have any but um, let's let's do a quick test and I'll show you how it works with the crystals that I have on hand so I'm just going to power it really quick I don't know how well you can see it's showing zero right now I'll just put in the shade so you can read the frequency very well. And I'm going to test a uh, 7.2 megahertz uh, crystal. Let's see if I can squeeze it in here. 7.1972. That's what's showing me. 7.3. I believe that's the closest. Um, I know it's accurate, I think, or very close to accurate, just because I have a crystal that I know for sure the, that it's on 7040. Uh, and that one, it does read that one, 70.40. Uh, there was an issue with the 4 megahertz crystals. I have one, it's 4.4336 let's see this one works now 
because of that capacitor 7.4335 very close another one this is 3.5 megahertz let me okay and there's an issue this one is 3.5 and it's showing me 10 I wonder why uh-huh maybe it's not staying properly in the 2.9 I'm just gonna let it uh, sometimes some of the crystals it takes uh, a longer time until they um, they find the, the frequency I don't know why but it's not the same with all the crystals yeah this one doesn't want let me put it the, the other way around nah same thing I don't know why, why it's doing that let's see I have another one 3.5 megahertz hmm same issue maybe I'm touching something and I'm not supposed to it's strange it was working fine a little bit earlier as I've tested these crystals before very very strange anyway let's see 70 Two, three. This one works perfect. I'm gonna try to figure out. Maybe I can. I have to play around with the variable capacitor here. Maybe. No. I'll put it back where it was. I don't know, I'm going to check, but it was, it was reading them fine earlier. Anyway, I read somewhere that it doesn't uh, measure, um, how you call this, um, ceramic, um, ceramic resonators. I have one that it's rated for 7 megahertz, and it does read this one as well, 7.8998. So it does measure them. I don't know how accurate, but it, it does it. But my issue was that I wanted to use this one uh, with the receivers that I'm building to test the uh, LC circuit and see what's the frequency that I have in order to be easier for me to calculate coils and measure them for different bands. And also, if you remember, I was uh, speaking about this little board in, uh, let me take this one out of the way. Uh, I was speaking about this little board in the video about the Charles Kitchen region receiver that my friend Hendrik sent me. And I said that uh, he also sent me this uh, little uh, PCB, which is a preamplifier for a frequency counter. Um, write down in the video description, I'm going to write down um, the exact type of uh, frequency counter that it was used with this particular uh, preamplifier and it works. But unfortunately, I built this one, I tested it with, uh, with this frequency counter and it doesn't work. Uh, so. I thought maybe the output signal is not powerful enough from one single transistor, so I found another schematic online using three transistors, another MPF-102 and uh, two, um, two N222 transistors. Now this one didn't work either, and I hate it because <laughs> I spent some time trying to... Oopsie, sorry. Um, and um, I spent some time trying to fit this uh, perfectly so I can actually solder them <laughs> really nice and just have the boards together but anyway basically I'm not sure um, I know that uh, 
the recommended power to power this um, <coughs> this uh, frequency counter is recommended to be 5 volts and many people are confusing uh, this power with the input signal saying that apparently the signal in it shouldn't be uh, bigger than 5 volts on the input others are saying that the signal has to be at least 7 volts the input signal coming from a from a signal generator from a frequency generator um, anyway I'm I have no clue about this kind of stuff I'm learning right now uh, I don't even know if the peak can take 7 volts on the input signal but yeah um, sensitivity wise I think this is not exactly what I was hoping for uh, basically when I ordered this one I asked about it and they told me that I can basically use it with a simple pickup coil I, was, I wasn't told about any preamplifier any buffer anything just a pickup coil uh, that I wind um, an, an extra coil basically on the same coil that I have from the region receiver for example or a transmitter or a transceiver and it would read the frequency um, <laughs> Probably that's what the manufacturer told them, the guys from the store, but definitely that doesn't work. So if anybody has any idea how I could get this one um, to work and be able to read the frequency um, from a receiver, that would be great. This is the receiver from my friend Hendrik. Let me put some more light. Yeah, so this is the the receiver uh, that I nearly finished from my friend Hendrik. It's not yet done. I still have to organize the wires inside. I just put them uh, temporarily until I finish designing the whole thing. But uh, yeah, basically it doesn't work. Here on the back side I have a BNC. Uh, it's the input for the antenna. And then another BNC which is the output for the frequency counter. Technically, I was supposed to be able to connect in here and uh, have it working, but it doesn't work. So anyway, uh, just an example. Uh, let's say I have this coil here, right? This is the main coil, uh, the, the tuning coil. This is the antenna input, uh, the antenna coil. And this one on the bottom uh, should be the frequency counter uh, coil with or without a buffer or preamplifier uh, just as this one I should be able to read the frequency um, so yeah I would say that this project was a fail uh, at least I have myself a nice crystal tester pretty much for now that's the only thing that I can use it for to test crystals but first I have to uh, adjust it probably from this variable um, trimmer capacitor to make sure that it's on point uh, probably I'm gonna ask one of my friends to test one one crystal um, tell me uh, write down the the proper frequency and then send it to me uh, by mail I'm gonna test that one make sure it, it reads the same frequency and then I will just hope that the rest of them will be as accurate as possible uh, and yeah, right now I have to figure out the problem with the 3.5 megahertz. I'm still not sure why it doesn't read that, because it, it was reading that earlier. Maybe I should test it again. Let's see. Or maybe the, my battery is very low and it doesn't have enough power. Yeah, it does the same thing again. Is my capacitor touching something in the back? No yeah very strange hmm it was working fine earlier anyway I'm gonna have a look on that but uh, yeah that's that's a failed project <laughs> that I tried um, hey at least it works with the uh, with the rest of the crystals but there's still a lot of information that I have to search about this one it's a nice frequency counter, but definitely not what I was hoping for. 
unfortunately in Romania right now this is the only one that I could find uh, I just can't find any frequency uh, counter modules, modules uh, that I could buy like uh, the one similar on eBay I don't like shopping from eBay and Amazon and uh, yeah I'm trying to find something in the in the stores available here in Romania so uh, that's it for today unfortunately if you can help me out you can, if you can uh, find a solution uh, or if you have a solution please don't uh, hesitate to um, send me an email or leave a comment uh, down below maybe I can get it to work so I can finally read the the frequency <clears throat> talking about low signal input think about it that this is the Michigan Mighty Might CW transmitter uh, to tune the output of this one I'm using a pickup coil just like the one that I would use for the frequency counter it has two coils and then these ones are coming straight to this LED which usually I believe it, would, it won't light up until the voltage is about 2 volts, 3 volts, something like that so basically I'm powering the transmitter and this will light up when I'm keying that means in this coil I have at least uh, 2 volts well, if I put another pickup coil uh, and then try to put it on the meter, I believe that sh it should be able to read that kind of voltage, like 2-3 volts, right? And it doesn't. I tried also putting that through the preamplifier and then from the preamplifier the signal would come to the, uh, to the frequency counter. And that didn't work either, so yeah, <laughs> I'm very lost right now. Uh, probably I should learn more about the um, these things. Anyway, that's it for today, that's it for this video. Um, time to go get some... Um, um, go get ready uh, <laughs> to learn some stuff for, for my amateur radio exam this Monday. I'm finally going and I'm really excited uh, but I have to learn a lot because I didn't have much time uh, not not I don't have any free time at all lately so hopefully I get to uh, test myself and uh, pass that exam because I really want that call sign so I'm able to use all these toys that I'm building here on the channel and um, that would be a lot more interesting to to be able to use everything anyway uh, Thank you for watching, hopefully I can get this one to work uh, until the next video. So right now, thank you for watching one more time, have a beautiful weekend and 73.